A word for our listeners. Season 2 of Masks of Nyarlathotep is set in the 1930s and 40s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It's not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, a Nerds Domain gaming podcast. Join us each week as our commandos uncover the corruption of the mythos in World War II. Starring Johnny Brown, Ed Maudlin, Chris Dunn, and Matt Quiet, with John Quiet running the table as keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed Nazi cultists await you just beyond this music. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. I am here with John. Hello. Ed. Sup. Rob. Hello. And Colin like the vampire. It's a me, Colin. <laughs> like the vampire. Like the vampire. <laughs> the Italian vampire, Colin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, wasn't that where they were? In, in Italy? Uh, or Spain? They were in Spain. Uh, yes. So Both. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go ahead yeah. and give us more information on this book that you read, obviously. Well... <sighs> So. Vampires are known to come from the span. <laughs> nah, I don't care. No. <laughs> John, uh, why don't you take us back into the story? We're getting ready to head out to the uh, darkness yep. of, of, that is, uh, Germany. Yes. As in, I believe in a thing called love? Sure. Nah. Okay. Sorry, go on. <laughs> you, uh, yes, your group recently received the mission that you need to locate in uh, a... German radio tower that is broadcasting an odd signal uh, or an odd message, I guess. The signal's pretty standard. It's just a radio signal. Um, but the message that they send is rather weird. Um, they, it's, a, it's a sentence and a repetition of numbers. Um, your wing commander, wing commander Llewellyn, um, <coughs> figured out that the message referenced the uh, Library of England um, and had a uh, designation for a particular book in did the library. Did uh, you ever figure out what book that was? You have not yet. Uh, you sent off that you were going to, but like you know, it takes time to, mm -hmm. you know, military red tape, and they've probably got their code breakers working on it uh, before they'll tell you what's going on. And um, but in the meantime, you need to locate this station because they are going to broadcast um, in a couple of days. So you have an opportunity to locate them um, while you're trying to figure out what, what it is they're saying. So that's where we left off. You guys had loaded up, and it was going to be our four PCs and four NPCs trekking off into the woods, yes. crossing the border of Germany. Before we get too deep into it, you want to tell us the name of those NPCs? <laughs> he said wiggling his eyebrows. <laughs> was that what he was doing? I really yeah. just wanted more time to eat. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, are you yeah. muting your microphone when you do that? Thank you. All right, so you've got Marv, Wolf, and Lloyd Fishman. <laughs> the entire yeah. Fishman clan is here helping yeah, us those out are the with four. this mission. Oh, can we do a podcast called The Fishmans? <laughs> we can. <laughs> <laughs> Lars, Lars Fishman. Lars Fishman. <laughs> you should figure it out if you should first, though. <laughs> All right, so you've got Herman Adsleaf. Leroy Haley. How many L's? However many you want. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. Um, Cecil Lancaster. That's a red shirt name if I've ever heard one. A romantic lead in a silent movie. <laughs> I'm Cecil Lancaster, and I'm going to smooch your face. I like that voice. We need to keep that voice somehow. <laughs> that voice needs to stay. New in character. Voice. I don't know if you're aware of this, but we do take clips from this and give it to our Patreons. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, Jacob Morley. <laughs> Mo Jacob, Jacob Mor Morley. <laughs> yes. Does he have a brother? But it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> no, no, no. He had a, he had a great uncle. He died years ago. On this very day. <laughs> Nope, we're in March. It's not Christmas Eve. 
<laughs> yes, I know the Christmas story. Or the yeah. Well, you should. It's Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. Yes, a Christmas story is you'll That's shoot your eye out. Right. Ebenezer Scrooge shoots his eye out with a BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone remembers this classic movie. TNT t- runs it 24 and hours. And then he sends the bunny out to get the, the turkey. Yep. It's time for the Jew to talk to y'all about Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all privates, I assume? Yes. Okay. Okay. Corporals, That's what I was about whatever. to ask. I wasn't I trying to be a private. Yeah. It was a sincere Corporals. question. They're all lower rank than you. Um, so, yeah, you guys have all your stuff. You're gonna head west or head uh, east into the because I can't remember how a compass works. Well, if we head west long enough, <laughs> of course you probably don't want to we'll go on foot. No, then we're gonna we'll fall off because of course the earth is flat. No, we'll take the, we'll take the Germans from behind. We'll flank them. <laughs> Not like that. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll head east. Head okay. east. So we will. Or are we heading out this um, the next day? Or was it I early mean, enough that we could head out? Yeah, what time of day is it when we all? Learn I mean, this by stuff? the time you get everything packed up and everything, I would say noon. Um, noon that's, that's good. I think we should still head out because we yeah. got we've only got so much time. Sure. Yeah. And by the time we uh, get to the border, it might be darker. Stupid whatever. question. Three days from today, so it'll happen on the third day or it'll happen on the fourth day, but we need to be there and set up first. So is it like one, two, three, go, or is it one, yeah. two, three? Okay. Yeah, like I said, yes. stupid question. But <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's gonna be four days from okay. to from the day you're leaving. So, but we need to have our stuff set up. Well, I mean that's, I mean that's the thing is you're trying to triangulate with two other radio towers on the the Belgium and French side of things. So like you're trying to get east of the radio station to find out First, where yeah. to come back west okay. at it. So. If you succeed, if you go out far enough, and then you'll have a place to come back to, and you know where the tower is. But that's a that's a matter of the dice. Yep. Um, <laughs> so they have not been kind to our radio operator so far. Um, yeah. So the first, but uh, now we've got a civilian. Sacrifice some Kit Kats to your dice, and it'll be good. <laughs> Perfect. So the first thing we need to have everybody do is roll. Um, I imagine survival to trek out into the wilderness. Sure. Okay. You can do that. Yeah. So if I could have some rolls. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a 1% survival. Are you really? I'm really. I you didn't no, have I'm, any survival? I'm a 9 survival Arctic. <laughs> what the hell? Well, actually, I wish I would have known this was a thing. Otherwise, I probably would have put something there. Like, I have what, what zero now. Would it be fair for one of us to roll it to keep the other ones alive? It, it would be. I was going to to ask what your what okay. your various survival rankings were at to see if I can. Uh, I'm not real outdoorsy. No, <laughs> more of a homebody. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're city living. You're yeah, well, that's why I'm a butcher. I yeah, guess. See, I've got cl- <laughs> Yeah, I've got cl- butcher slash ham radio operator. I know. That, that, it's ham radio. It's my survival is at sixty. That's why I'm a butcher. Okay. The I've got cover. Yeah, wh- why? Why, why don't I have a higher survival? I have a uh, because you didn't okay. put points into it. Well, well, okay. You put it into field field craft, perhaps. I put it into field craft. I have a twenty seven survival, which isn't great. Sure, but it might be better than anyone else. No, I've got a sixty five. Okay, okay, I'm going to give you a ten on that. Then you're going to give me a ten on survival. Well, no, no, no. I'm giving Matt a plus ten. Oh, okay. To his survival skill okay. or what? minus ten to his roll. What about? Sure. Um, that is a twenty. I almost said something really bad. Yeah. So got it. What about our other people that we have with us? What about our expendable people? I was going to say, what about our privates, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about the corporals? That was where you got your 10, since Excellent. you were only giving 20. I'm going to say with the with the extra four guys you brought along, Sure. he, he got a 10 bonus. Sure. I got 23 under... 65 or 75 doesn't matter. Whichever way that works yep. out. Yep. So you either got a 13 or a, or a 23 under yeah. 65 or 75. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah. So first day goes well. You managed to make some actual progress. Okay. Are you going to camp before the border or do you want to push on through into the night and get into Germany proper? How far into the border can we push before we would have to camp? You guys can decide to push yourselves as far as you want. If you want to go 
twenty four hours in you know without well, sl- without stopping. Would, That's entirely. I, I would like to get at least ten kilometers into Germany, just so that the bo- if there's a border patrol, we will miss them. Mm, okay. They won't find our camp. What did we decide it was? Seven. It was Fifty. Fifty kilometers total. Okay, so you want to you want to go ten kilometers in a day, or in into half Germany. In ten kilometers, into I don't know how many kilometers it is. Like either that, or we have to be way back from the border. Either way, to avoid them. I mean, we could be on the border, and they just glare at us. <laughs> you walk yeah. about six kilometers per hour on a normal walk. I'd say in the in the hills like this, probably more like three. Probably. So probably we're looking at probably there. three hours of walking into Germany, at least. Yeah, but yeah. then how far is Weppler? Well, Weppler didn't really exist on the map. <laughs> right. We made it up using your damn future maps. But if we're gonna, if we walk eight hours, that will put us well yeah. within Germany. Yeah. Eight hour march. So we started around be noon. Yeah, around. Yeah. yeah. So, right. so if you go another eight hours before you make camp, I think that will put you at a at a reasonable. Yeah. I, I mean, the civilian might be a little uncomfortable. <laughs> marching yeah. For I guess I'm not super outdoorsy and I'm not strong. So yeah. thank goodness I'm on this mission. Yep. <laughs> Outdoors. Solid choices. Solid choices. Good life choices. I can rock a radio, guys. Seriously. Yep. You're gonna, I'm going to blow your damn minds. I hope so. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's got turntables. <laughs> That's right. D- does Two he also have turntables and a microphone. Man, Sorry. I was getting there. So uh, you guys should give me a field craft roll to see sure. how well you hide. I mean, they all have. Oh. Did you fail? Did you actually fail? That's amazing. Ninety-five over ninety-two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Twenty-nine under ninety-two. Uh, you want a hide roll or hide? A yes, sneak. Oh, on a sneak roll. Oh. Yeah, you don't have field craft. It's a military thing. Forty-eight okay. under seventy-six. Well, I mean, I do have hide, hide or sneak. Which one do you want? Well, let me what see. sneak? Uh, it's my sneak. Fifty. It's fifty. They're, they're the same. The hide same. and sneak are the same. So. Okay, then doesn't matter. Just roll okay. one. Uh, of Two uh, tens. Yep. Okay. Yes. That's a three. Okay. Oh, so three. Roll the three. Okay. Nice. So yeah. Um, Mark it. Okay. Like a little yeah, stick through the box. Okay. From behind. Yep. Okay. All right. So yeah, um, you guys are able to set up a camp. You see you. Uh, it, it, everything appears to be okay. Seems undetected by uh, you know German patrols. You, uh, how do you uh, do you dry goods for the night? Yeah, you I know? assume we have some sort of rations. Oh yeah, yeah. Require fire. Yeah. So and that was I believe that was discussed during our last session yeah. was that you wanted to go without making a campfire. So, yes. Uh, yeah. So as yeah. to not so everything you'll be eating will be uh, salted and canned and not warm. Yeah. Good MREs. So, like eating at Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did they wrong you recently, or is it just like because it came up li- earlier? It came up. It came up earlier, and it's just going to be a. It's going to be, be a recurring the theme for, this, for me. I, for this I am session, pro, yeah. I am pro anti. I believe. <laughs> I believe <laughs> pro anti Applebee's. I believe he's being paid off by Big O Charlie's. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yeah. He's a shill for the other and Americana if restaurants. <laughs> and if he's being paid off, it's probably all in in potato soup, and that's a fair. <laughs> Fair decision. <laughs> right. <laughs> Potato soup and rolls. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't oh, forget the complimentary mm, rolls. Those rolls are amazing. The one over here changed the way they, they do their rolls. It's not the same anymore. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway. Pertinent conversation yes. for World War II. <laughs> Fuck. We, we may be using... <laughs> to to our though. listeners, we may be l- using terms from the 1940s like yeah. Applebee's <laughs> and O'Charlie's. <laughs> <laughs> that could be offensive. It could be offensive. <laughs> wow. Go ahead, John. You were saying. <laughs> yeah, so you made the first day. Um, can I get a? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and, and make one roll cover um, or one series of rolls cover the next three okay. days, unless you anybody has some specific. I'm keeping an eye out for any kind of uh, German patrols or marks that Germans have been through the area. I'm essentially I'm going to be very cautious. Sure. But other than that, like, uh, but yeah. do you and avoiding those roads like you oh, yeah. like you come over a rise and you're like oh there's a road. We may use the roads as like guideposts for where we're supposed to be walking, but not within 
view okay. of them. Sure. Um, so I'm going to ask for another, um, and and don't roll dice until I, I finish. I'm going to ask for another survival roll, another field craft roll, and then a constitution roll for the group. Um, each of those can be, well, I, I shouldn't give a field craft bonus because you guys maxed out your field crafts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's a chance you could fail, so... Um, as we've seen. Yeah. Thanks. So. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, so. You're the, you're the one who packed hot pink camo. I'm going to survival them down a ravine. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the survival will get the same plus 10 okay. um, bonus to it. And then um, the field craft roll will be just to see how well you're able to identify um, enemy patrols and avoid them. And then the constitution roll will be, um, you know, how well you're holding up okay. in the, in the so on and so forth. So, so each of us is rolling each of those? No. Uh, one one of you is going to be rolling each of those. Okay. I will okay. roll survival. So okay. Right. Obviously, I'm the only one that can do it. Well, you're also probably Four. the best for field craft. Uh, actually, I, we're tied on field craft. I'm at a 92. Okay. okay. So I got a four. That's a critical I rolled a, I rolled a seven for uh, Wow. <laughs> For field right. craft, so I think that would be a critical success yeah. on field um, craft. So then the constitution is going to be a times five. It's pretty easy. So whoever... Okay. I have an 11. I have a 13. 12. No, uh, 13 for constitution. So either uh, of the two men who haven't rolled yet? I can take the roll. So okay. 13 times five is a high number. It's yes. a good number. Yes, it is. It's the best number. It's, it's what... it's. 65 it's is not what as you're looking for there. It's not 65. as good as, as 14. I'm not finished vamping yet. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> it's his time. With plus one, plus two. Plus I got a 41. Excellent. So, so we're, we're good. Yep. So, so we're walking through the, 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 the <laughs> silent, <laughs> snowy mountain, and we're and suddenly there's a flash, and like it's a squirrel on a tree, and both uh, Jack and I just turn and just mow the tree, <laughs> fire so much into the tree, the tree falls over. Yes. We're like... <laughs> You're on it. I don't think they know we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and now each of you gets to mark off a drum. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, and the squirrel is standing there going, what the hell, guys? <laughs> yeah. You hear a noise and just five grenades. <laughs> oh, Did we create and then pound energy drinks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So it's, uh, we could put them in jerry cans. Never mind. Go on. <laughs> So yeah, so it's the morning of the broadcast, um, and you guys are camped out. You're in a you are in, you feel like you're in a good position to make you know to to set up things and check uh, to uh, see. Uh, hmm? Do we know how long the broadcast lasts? Do you have the sound file up? Still, it's like a minute and seventeen seconds. Oh, okay, so it's a minute and seventeen seconds out of a. An entire day. Out of it, yeah. Okay, so we have a very limited window. Okay, um, very good. Well, you, I mean, they do narrow it down to the hour. Okay. They always seem to broadcast okay. in the 10 o'clock hour. Okay. Um, Is that military time? Or PM. Yeah. A. Sorry. A. Sorry. Yeah. We're German. We are in Germany, too, so. They have 1,000 hours. 1,000 hours. That is awkward. It, it is. It is. Ten, but that's the way you say it. 0900, 1000, 1100, 0100. There's no, because yeah. there's only four <laughs> digits. But 0100 sounds less awkward. It's not 0100. It, that sounds less awkward. It's 1100. 11, yeah. 11? <laughs> 11 yes. 1100? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's when you eat 11 Zs. No, you just eat 11 Zs at 11. At 1100. So it's in the 10 o'clock hour yeah. for about a minute 17. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So I imagine you know you'll probably want to start setting up around nine thirty, zero in on the signal. Maybe the a little earlier, yeah, it's like nine yeah. or eight even. Okay, yeah, sure. we got one shot at this. Let's <laughs> okay, equipment could fail. We need we need that time. Six hundred okay. hours. Let's get this right. thing set up yeah. and going. Uh, so go ahead and give me your radio use roll for this. No, no pressure. Ninety nine. Okay. You have a you have a ninety nine on radio. I have no. a 65 on radio operator. You didn't remember that I have radio operator, 60 right? What is Six. that? 71. Oh. You're kidding. <laughs> Can I help him with that? Yeah, go ahead. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we 
marched all this way out here. We didn't kill a squirrel. Thank you for joining us on this episode. Um, looks like the adventure's a little shorter this time. Critical failures. What's the name of our group? Silent but Deadly Commandos. I so I, I steal and I radio. I think That's that all we, I do. I think we give it another go. Because we, you know, we, we set because up, we at set like up in, turn, yeah, in we, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, so we. When are we starting this? Are we starting it at six? Right? We're starting at six. <laughs> I must say, revelries at six hundred hours. So, so I mean, we've got revelry, we've not got revelry. Four Revel, hours. Revelries at at, at at ten p.m. That's, the previous uh, day. That's oh six hundred. Yeah. Oh six hundred. Oh six hundred. Yeah. So we can try that again then. Yeah. Yeah. No, the yeah. check was for the you know the find. So. So we haven't found anything. We haven't found anything yet. Okay. And and I, I'm just you know GM no when the GM says hey give him radio use I did I and did and then yeah, I bumped then it you, up some yeah but I was like hey this is the one skill I want him to have <laughs> and you're like oh by the way GM okay, can I, see I have it at a, at a better score already I forgot I had it in yeah let's see this is, uh, this is an eight hundred <laughs> roll it again perfect eight hundred no you guys got a week to kill um oh, it's crap that's fine yeah that's fine. Um, you guys did not. It's it's hard to say. Perhaps. And we brought rations for three days. Who's we? I would have brought rations for at least six since it's a three day trek back. <laughs> yeah. So you've got six days worth of rations for the eight of you. So we will. Uh, we can. You're also a tracker. You can probably bring down some game. You could potentially if that's uh, what you wanted to do. Yeah. But we got to cook it. Well, we can salt it. Fine. <laughs> How much salt did you bring? I am the saltiest one here. <laughs> I'm just going to sweat on it. <laughs> uh, would it be fair to say we could forage for food or not? Yeah, it's fair to say that, yes. With survival, not track, I would yeah. assume. Okay, I will do if that. If that's then. what you want to do, I mean, you have the goods. or are you gonna... So, so yeah. Uh, Actually, foragery. Is... No, that's foragery. Never mind. <laughs> I'm <gonna> yeah. <laughs> Dyslexia is an adventure. <laughs> For, <laughs> forgery, foragery, yeah, forestry. <laughs> so, for whatever reason, um, you you know the mountains. You just the the data was wrong in your packet in your in your um, intel. You just you catch the tail end of the of the numbers, but not enough to. But not enough. Well, we trust. We crossed a date line. We didn't factor that in. The time zone. Yeah. The time zones are killing you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's a true thing. There's um, a difference between Belgium and in Germany. So jet lag is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. We the tried. Hour uh, difference. Uh, we yeah. shot for 1,100 no, hours. No, 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 Turns no, no, out that's no. not a thing. <laughs> My bad. There wasn't four, 1940. Prove me wrong, Ed. D- okay. <laughs> so, yeah. You guys. Uh, so, whatever. I for have, whatever reason. I have Google, too. Yeah. <laughs> they made a sequel? <laughs> Google good. two electric Googaloo. <laughs> oh, thank God! <laughs> <laughs> you took a joke that was dead and you made it better. Good. That's Googaloo. a Franken joke. <laughs> Beautiful. So, for whatever reason, um, you're you. <laughs> you I'm, go- I'm going. Yeah, I'm going with the uh, the mountains. Just aren't. Um, Aren't doing you any favors. You're out in the wilderness. You catch the tail end of the of the signal, but it, you don't have it long enough before they shut off to get the measurements that you need to okay. triangulate things. Do we narrow it down at all? Um, you're 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 fairly confident that you've come out far enough that if you're you could even not come out quite this far next time. And you and if assuming you get in place and you get it nailed in, you dialed in properly, you'll get it next time. Okay. The okay. other option, it, we have a couple options here. We could go back to camp and yep. come back out. Yep. We could send some of our guy or corporals back to camp with a report. With a report and have them bring some more equipment out to us. Or we could. The stupidest idea, and the idea I think we should go with, is find a small village to try and resupply at. We, I know most of us speak German really well, and we can, well, I speak German very well. I probably don't speak it well enough. I don't know. We'll find out. How, how, how well do you speak German? What's your German score? 30. That yeah, is, that's me. That's, that's me conversational. 
So, All right, if, so as long as they're not trying to like convey complex concepts, I right. think like I'm philosophy. Sure. Oh yeah. no, yeah. almost. Uh, I was almost better in German than I was in English. Yeah. But I failed that role. Yep. Aww. So, um, like I said, you're confident that this position right now will get you what you need to know. Yeah. So I'm and, and so you. So the other option that you didn't mention that is technically on the table is you could camp here, right here. Mm-hmm. In the wilderness, where there you're not near any roads or anything, it's just the, the problem of that being your supplies aren't going to last you a whole week until they broadcast again. Yeah. So my suggestion would be for uh, right now, what I'm going to think we should do is we can send our tracker out, maybe with one of the corporals or privates or the other captain or ca- Captain McKin- Captain Loveridge. We're going to send you out to do a quick scope of the area to figure out if there's enough here that will yeah, yeah. make it so we can survive and also not be a strain on the environment, which might be noticed by local villages. Sure. Um, Mackenzie, you can go with him if you'd like, or we can send one of the privates, who if we have a private that is good at sneakiness. Do we have a sneaky private? I think Haley. I don't trust that guy. <laughs> I think I'm good at sneakiness. Well... I'm not good at sneakiness. I'm good at fieldcraft. Fieldcraft is sneakiness. Okay, then I'm good at fieldcraft. <laughs> I'm good so at sneakiness. Wow. And are you are you ordering that to happen? Yeah. The Wing I, commander? Uh, at first, I'm going to make the suggestion because I want to get their input because they know what they're doing. Okay. And we've uh, seen some shit. The, yeah, I was, I the wing commander has put forth, do you want to go back to, to Wepler or do you want like to try to find a villager here? I don't Basically, we're having a, a meeting, mostly because I think it will be less fun if I just tell all the other players what they're going to be doing yeah. for the next week. I would rather see if we can stay here. Yeah, it seems like a long walk, and I don't, well, I don't need necessarily need to raid a town. The that could cause problems. Well, no, I'm, I'm in, if we do that, we're not raiding a town. We're going to send some... Mi- well, we actually don't have anything to pay for stuff with. We don't have any marks. You might have some, yeah. Okay. Somebody's probably smuggled a bundle of cash out. Because I would before. I would be okay sending myself and maybe one other person who's good at lying to a village and buying some moderate supplies that we can use, like some meat that we can... Except How all you're just... wearing are American or British. British. No. Oh, mm. fatigues. Well, then we steal someone's clothes off a clothesline. It's an option. The old steal clothes. This all the sounds like a line. Okay. terrible. Well, let's check the environment first. Yeah, let's check. Yeah. Let's, let's check, check the okay. environment. Yeah. yeah. So, so Captain Lo- Captain Loveridge puts out or backs the camp where we are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I, I'm, I'm saying we're we're not leaving. We're not going back. Oh, we're not going back. That, so that was not, not on the table. Okay, good. I thought sending someone sending two people back. Right. So that, that was on the table. That is on the table. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not crazy. Yeah. So us going yeah. back ourselves. Right. So you want to give right. me a survival roll there, Captain yep. Loveridge? Thirteen. What's your assessment of the area? Hot uh, dice, hot uh, dice. There's plenty of food, and we'd definitely be fine here. Okay. Is there plenty of food? I mean, it is obvious you, that you it got a thirteen on your survival. You get to dictate what what's going on right here. I think it's. What's reasonable to you? What's what's interesting to you? I think it, oh, there would it would it, there would be enough food in the area, yeah. probably, and probably a better place to camp after moving. You want to move a camp bit. a little bit? Yeah, it's like a, a rocky alcove or something where okay. we could have a small fire and it wouldn't be necessarily noticed. Sure. Yeah. Or out of the ordinary, maybe. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So that would be okay. my assessment. Sounds good. Pine cones are nutritious and delicious. They make great tea. I don't know. They can also be used for other things. Yeah. Mostly fiber. <laughs> what some people in the future might use seashells for. Oh. <laughs> Specifically three of them? Three. three. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Loveridge has found a slightly better place where you might be, ab- be able to uh, light a campfire without uh, drawing attention. All right. So, we will go, we will move camp, break camp, move camp. Okay. Yep. And um, set up. Yeah. So, um, you guys need to give me some survival rolls. I'm going to ask, actually, everybody okay. to go ahead and roll this. Okay. I can't wait to get hurt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That mm-hmm. would be a critical failure on survival. Am I dead now? No. <laughs> okay. And it's yeah. not a critical failure unless it's all aughts. That's that's oh. 100. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. 
85, 85 over, over one. one. Yeah. yeah. I'm 26 over one. Sure. I am three under 27. Nice. Marking. Yeah. I got like a 12. It's you mark it? No, I already marked it twice. Okay. Can't mark it more than once. No. Um, yeah, so things seem to go fairly well. You guys are a little tired after all that stuff. Um, the uh, uh, Captain Leverage, the dreams with the red eyes, mm -hmm. they don't visit you for two days. It's almost as if they can't find you. So the trip out, okay. they didn't bother you the trip on the trip out. Um, and now that you've camped again, mm -hmm. they've returned. Okay. Um, but I'm not going to require a sanity check. This time the dream, um, it opens up, you're in the lab, mm -hmm. and the curtain is parted, and you see the eyes in the darkness, and you're able to turn away and wake yourself up before you start approaching. Okay. That is a significant change to the scenario, because usually you didn't see the eyes yeah. until you'd gone into the darkness of the second room. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, so that's that's what happens. It's different this time. Okay. Um, you don't hear the voice whisper your name. You just feel the presence of the entity um, in the darkness. Okay. Um, so a week goes by. Um, the dream continues to be um, in that same vein. Sometimes you do walk into the darkness yeah. and see the eyes, but you're able to scare yourself awake every time without um you know without that dread of of that overwhelming presence that you felt the first couple times okay um so that's cool i guess um it's all right yeah it's pretty cool yeah um so you guys are all camped out um so you have so you, you got this nice camp there's literally no one around that you can see. Um, you're fairly certain that there's a, a road like kilometers away through the trees. You occasionally hear an engine, but you can't ever see anything. Yeah. So the tree cover seems to be enough to keep you hidden. Um, and the day, it, you know, it, uh, the day arrives where the radio signal is supposed to um, happen again. All right. So when we roll for the thing, it's rolling, searching for the signal. Yeah, the radio okay. use will be, um, will be searching for the to narrow in and find the signal, and then after that, you'll have checks to triangulate, triangulate. and track it down. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so right. um, someone want to assist? I'll assist. Him. Okay, he's not supposed to be a radio guy. He'll know what's going on. Yeah. So you're gonna roll, you're gonna roll and see if you get a success. Thirty-one, yes. Okay. Uh, so your radio score, you'll get a plus ten on your radio score for okay. temporary. Okay. Eighty-two. <sighs> what is what's your uh, sixty-five? So yeah, the ten. Um, I'm rolling great for other games. It's yeah, just this one. This one. Yeah, it's a roll under system. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, everybody give me survival rolls again. <laughs> 16. 74. Those are 20. 65. So, is that under? I forget your actual yes, score. Yes, it so, is. so, two out of four. Great. Um, we survived. Yeah. Okay, great. No. <laughs> Two out of four ain't bad, right? Um, Maybe we can talk all night. <laughs> so give me a give me give me another radio check. I'll assist him again. I will not assist him in this time. No, that stinks. Oh, I'm over four. Yeah. Mm. Sixty-eight. <laughs> How is this happening? Here, I got. But this. with with your ten <laughs> bonus, Fixed right? It. With your 10 Fixed. bonus? He did no, not. Not this I, I fixed it. It's a 48. It's a 48. <laughs> 48. 
<laughs> no one saw that. It's a 48. <laughs> well, those are, those dice are really hard to read. I mean, yeah. look at them with all that fancy scroll and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. the fours, totally, the, four, totally the sixes four, and yeah, fours yeah, yeah, yeah. are very I mean, confusing on those I dice. I mean, a curse of four looks like a six. It does. Yeah, it's all the time. It's I mean, I'm just going to point out, are those your dice right there? These are my dice. But you have a set of those in there. You could roll your own dice. I don't want your that crap. Wait a minute, yeah, why have you been rolling his? Oh my I gosh, that is the been problem. Borrowed dice. There's the problem. You don't touch nope. another yeah. man's dice. Nope, nope, yeah. nope, nope, nope. That's nope, not nope, a D10. Nope. There, there you go. go. <laughs> no, no, roll. Was the that D8. a D12? D8. D8. Yeah. Fifty-five. Yay. Yes, that's what we thought you were rolling. Well, mark that box. <laughs> yeah, mark it, mark it twice. Yeah, mark it twice. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Um, yeah, again, you, you dial in, and the tinny female voice reads out the same exact sequence. Um, that we don't want to play again. You don't? Do we? Okay. I mean, it's entirely up to you if, if you want to hear it. Because it's creepy. Oh, shoot. I, oh, yeah, we can totally play that again. That's not a problem at all. Achtung, Achtung, Fortschritt bereicht, Bahnhof 5. Achtung, Albion 813, S2. DC 19, 12, 5, 3, 113, 32, 3, 5, 10, 2, 21, 17, 14, 80, 5, 1, 40, 22, 7, 5, 27, 2, 36, 23, 7, 69, 23, 2, 97, 39, 16, 75, 6, 2, 4, 4, 6, 17, 9, 6, 1, 1, 18, 75, 6, 2, 34, 26, 18, 31, 30, 5, 20, 30, 16, 5, 27, 2, 36, 23, 7. There it is. Yep. All right. So. Any ideas about what it means? It's a bunch of numbers. <laughs> yeah. Now, were I to figure, I'm assuming it's probably, well, what I would assume is that it is a cipher for using the book. Yeah. So the first number would be the page number. The second number would be paragraph number. Uh, then the third number would be word or letter. Could be. But without but that book, you'll never, yeah. you, you're not going to know yet. Yep. Uh, have we heard back? It's been two weeks. I mean, can I just, <laughs> yeah. can I place a <laughs> well, personal, if if can there be a benefit of this? Can I place a personal, oh, sorry. Okay. If, sorry. There, if we're in military, or in oh. enemy territory, are we really activating the radio? Well, to we be like, hey, boss, at home, we're in Germany now. Do you know the thing? Mm. That's the thing. I, I gave you the option. You said we're hanging out in the true. wilderness. True. It's been two weeks. That's true. If you want to go home or call home, that's an option. Uh, we could let's check s- in. So we could send someone, but that's in like another like it's four day. days. Yeah. Four days back. Well, what we'll yeah. do is we will when we figure out where this location is, depending on what they want us to do with it. Once we find it, we can go back and resupply. Because I want to stock up on supplies and possibly get more men if it is like <laughs> Castle Wolfenstein that we're right. attacking. Good point. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, after getting the uh, the signal and doing your math stuff, um, you are able to locate on the map a likely location within within maybe two, three kilometer area. Yeah. of where you're going to be. Uh, and again, to our listeners, I am not a radio operator. I don't know exactly if this is accurate. I'm just going off the general idea of what I read on the internet while researching this particular mission. If it's wrong, you can write us at nerdsdomain.com and tell Johnny how wrong he is. And, and I, will will enjoy, I will enjoy reading that email because I like learning things. Uh, this there. isn't how radio works in a game where character literally turned into a fish man? Yeah. <laughs> The window realism. Stu- the window ah. stuff's just fine, but this is trash. I mean, I, I took trigonometry in high school, and this was literally one of the things that we learned how to do was triangulation using radio towers. Mm-hmm. I just don't know how accurate it was in 1940. Mm-hmm. So, 
You went to high school in the 40s? N- no, yeah, I you don't. don't. <laughs> You're really old. Yeah. <laughs> You're older than Ed, yeah. barely. <laughs> he didn't hear you. He needs to turn it up. Huh? Huh? You could stab him if I you don't need to, whatever. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I've I have worse. a I have a bayonet. Um, well, I just meant with the pencil. That's a bad oh. choice. I'll just unload. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll be fifty shots. <laughs> <laughs> I think we agreed we only unload twenty shots at a go. That's true. <laughs> That's fair. So uh, you guys need so based on your information, you need to head a little bit north. Um, the maps you have of the area don't have don't list any villages or towns or structures of any kind. You, what about roads? Uh, there are roads that come near the place, but so, so what you I'm know, secret mil- German military installation could have been built in the last mm. couple of years. What I'm hearing is where we're going. We there don't need, need any roads. roads. Yes. Um, so, like I said, you want to, you got to go a couple kilometers uh, as the crows fly, as yeah. the crow flies north of here. Uh, to be in the right area, and then ob- and then you know, odds are you'll see a tower if you can get above the tree line. All right, it is uh, still pretty early. Oh yeah, so ten, let's it's the ten o'clock hour, ten a.m. hour. Break camp and start so heading north. Morning Kay. drive time is over. The yep. radio broadcast has ended. Yep. But on the plus side, we're going to miss rush hour. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rush hour through the woods. That's that's <laughs> Look, Those deer don't like to be late. <laughs> so. Rush hour through the game trails. Yep. <laughs> so, um, you need to give me a tracking roll to make sure you correctly read the map. Sure. I can do that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Those dice suck. They do. Let's throw them away. I'm going to get these dice. Got to get some Chessex. The good stuff. No, no, those are the ones he was using. Don't use those no, either. You're right. We're, we're, we're upgrading. Use the metal yeah. ones. Use, use the, the metal, metal ones. ones. Use the metal ones. That's a pity. I got it. All right. Um, so I hate defective dice. You get into the area around nightfall, so it's uh, seeing anything is going to be difficult um, without light, uh, mm-hmm. which you are trying to avoid using. But off in the distance, you can see the tower, and then there's trees and darkness because the sun is setting in the mountains. Do we have like camera equipment? Nobody loaded that up. No, I okay. thought to ask that oh. question. You could have, but you know, right. you didn't ask. So I assume we have binoculars, though. Sure, you can see the darkness real close. <laughs> I fire a magic missile at it. <laughs> <laughs> <Once>. <laughs> the darkness is an object, and magic missile no longer does damage to objects. <sighs> Look, well, I don't know what edition you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> the darkness is an object. Yep. Can't. What? Well, uh, I'm not gonna. Get I thought it was a comic. Right. I thought it was a band. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was. Thought like it was a video a, game. An oh. uh, a devil that uh, was played by Tim Curry. Yes. In Legend. Legend. I went there. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, it's Germany is now Tom built on the back of Tim Curry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that means I thought that was mean David Hasselhoff. <laughs> 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 David Hasselhoff is like their is like ninety percent of their GDP. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ouch. <laughs> So the other ten percent is beer and sauerkraut, <laughs> right? So you guys have an option. Do you want to camp out again, or do you want to yep. get closer um, to actually, the radio tower? How far away? It's off in the distance. It's hard to tell because you've got, you know, the sun setting. It's, you know, um, I'm gonna look well, at my it, it, sun <clears> setting. <throat> is it is it just dark? Is it black outside? It's it the way the way the sun has set up. Or the, the the has gone down behind the hills, like the the sky is still a little lit, and you've got the tower sticking out of the trees, so you can see its silhouette. You can see the tops of the trees, but like below that is darkness. Okay. The ground. So is gone black. Gotta get closer, right? <laughs> what? I don't know if we it, have an option. Is it cloudy out? Not really. What phase of the moon are we in? New moon. <laughs> So <laughs> werewolves are around. Is what what you're phase saying. of the moon are you in? You're screwed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realize there was a phase of the moon called. Nope, you're not going to see it. <laughs> it's called up yours. You had the full moon. No, I know. I, yeah, <laughs> weeks ago when we yeah. were out yeah. here. 
Yeah. That would have been radio operator. We can't tell from the number of segments in the tower how tall it is. Anything like that? I mean, yeah, sure. You can. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a radio tower, so it's got. Is it? Are there lights on it? Because radio towers have to have lights on them at least now. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't think that was really not. a concern of theirs at this point, well, especially during World War II when they could be bombed. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would require a bombing raid over the border of Germany, but you're right. Which, which actually happened during the Blitzkrieg. Uh, sure. Britain was sending planes back. Okay. Yeah, and if, if everything else is dark and then there's just red lights blinking, yeah, you're gonna, yeah, okay. You can narrow sense. it down kind of quickly. Yeah, yeah. there's not a whole, there's also not a whole lot of commercial flying going on. Right. right. And yeah, they could, they know, the Germans know where their secret military installations are, so they could send. So it, yeah. Not, not you know, they could send people around. Except sense. for them zeppelins. They can't control the Zeppelins? No, no, I'm saying there's a lot of commercial flying in Zeppelins. Oh, yeah. Well, so. now that the war is broken out, probably a lot less. Yeah. So, outside my of suggestion... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. You're fine. Um, You're also the CO. Yep. I would like to uh, set up camp for tonight. We can maybe start in tomorrow evening as or the sun's setting. How um, Did we... Uh, know how far away we are from the tower? We do no, not. We have no idea. Okay. okay. Um, I mean, be- you have a guess. You know, you don't know okay. the terrain between you and there. You have a okay. guess of maybe an hour or two, hour and a half hike. So let's but just say okay. an hour and a half hike. I would also like to send uh, some of the guys back home, just in case we get oh, caught. Oh, with the coordinates. That yeah. Y- yeah. That with makes the, a good point. You, you want to send two of your NPCs home? Yes, we'll go ahead and send Adsley and Lancaster. Mark them off the list. That way we still have uh, Morley and Haley. Sounds good. Maybe they'll run the radio. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So then, so you you set up camp for the night. Yeah. Okay. And we can either go in early, early dawn or towards the dusk tomorrow. Okay. It depends. Um, how tired are we? We have, It was a, quite a march, it's it you're seems like. You're a little fatigued. Wait, I mean, how many miles, how many kilometers away was it from where it we was, were? It was like two kilometers. You had to go like over the over the rise a couple times, and then you found it. Okay. Like another hour, hour and a half hike. Okay. So another three or four kilometers away. Sure. <coughs> okay. Um, so we're like half. W- so we're we're about halfway between where we had been making camp for a week. Yeah. Two and weeks. Okay. Well, right. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah, it took you four days to get there to hear the broadcast. Another week, and then another week to wait for the second broadcast, okay. and then another week to wait for the third broadcast, which we're, is where we caught them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been out in the woods for three weeks, um, no contact with home base. So hopefully, off and off. hopefully by now they've cracked the coast. Yeah. <laughs> Living off pine cones and brown squirrels. Seashells. And seashells. seashells. Yep. Yeah. Um, Not the <coughs> can, the Commander, right. it might be best to send somebody out there to scout at night. Mm-hmm. Maybe me and another man just to see um, what what all's out that way. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we know what the buildings look like when we're going in, it might be dark tonight, but that's going to help us just yes. as much yeah. as them. I, I have a sneak of 50, so not you. Um, uh, yeah. Um, sorry. I, sorry. When I said one <coughs> of the men, I meant one of the military men, not the civilian. Well, can't uh, operate a radio. Good luck. Take a seat, bench warmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it's entirely up to you. What yeah, do you want to do? Uh, yes. I'll, I'll volunteer to go. So I was actually thinking about going myself. Okay, that's just me, Leroy, and Jacob just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Somebody got a deck of uh, cards? I'll, I'll send the captains. Uh, oh, okay. Power captains activate. Shape of? Fusion dance? Something made of water. <laughs> <laughs> Shape of snowman. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be creepy to find out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> Olaf just running. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll scout down that way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to give me some sneaky fieldcraft ish rolls? Uh, Seventy eight made it. Twenty eight. Nice. Really made it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys are walking. You go down. There's a, a a partially frozen stream because you know it's cold at night. You got to cross over. Um, 
And then, um, so as you as you cross the stream, you can't. You need. I need um, some kind of like sensory check. Spot, spot or um, spot hidden or listen. I guess spot. Give me a spot. I got a four. <laughs> I got a ninety-five. I got a four under thirty-five. Nice. We have both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Um, so leverage. Um, you notice there's a there's a kind of a weak static in the air. It kind of like uh, the hair on your wrist between your glove and your sleeve kind of stands up on end, and um, it's hard to say exactly what's going on, but it's it's noticeable and all, a little off putting because you've never felt like this kind of static before, um, just kind of hanging out. Like there's no, um, ele- you know, there's obvi- there, you don't see any electrical equipment. Um, there's no, you know, thunderstorms in the in, right. in the area, but that's a that's a detail that you pick up with your four. Okay. Um, and it happens like literally, you cross the stream a couple steps in, and you feel it. Okay. So what do you what do you do? Um, I'm gonna, I I have my gun out. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna touch my gun to my arm and see if there's enough static to cause a, a spark. No, uh, it does. I so can when feel you, that transfer, that light, like yeah, like yeah. like how I, um, when you discharge the static, it, it kind of goes down. It like transfers away, and yeah. so your arm sort of um, the hair on your arm relaxes, but then you can feel as you're moving, it builds back up. Yeah, I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop Jack. Like, lightly touch him on his arm, and I'll motion at my arm. Like, look at your arm. You see, and and just something, some hand signal. Like, do to, you to, notice this? Yeah. Do you see this? Does mm-hmm. he notice it in the dark? Do you, you see your arm? <laughs> oh my god, my arm! <laughs> <laughs> it's a tentacle now. No. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. No. Once you stop him and like point at his arm several times. Yeah. You get the message across and yes, you do feel the static. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a moron. I don't right. think you would have to point it at Yeah. Huh? Ar- arm. Look what? at your arm. <laughs> well, what? What's an arm? <laughs> well, he's not talking speaking yeah, out yeah, loud. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yes, the yeah. communication well, But how do you know you don't feel like it's like a sexual electricity between you? How do you know it's not that? Could be. Um because we're Canadian and uh, Kiwi, we don't have those kinds of feelings. <laughs> they, yeah. Not even They're for our wives. <laughs> yeah. No. Do we have wives? I don't. We don't I have don't have wives. a wife. I no. don't know. No, I had a wife, but then she, she vanished. <laughs> but she vanished. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't have a wife. Yeah. No wife. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you notice the staticky feeling as well. Okay. What do you guys uh, do? Um, I'll like motion at him, like like as though I'm licking my tongue and and moving my hand around the air, like as though I'm suggesting is the air dry. Drier, because that can cause. Are, l- let me l- let me just ask this: Are we in a place where we feel like we couldn't whisper to one another? In that you have no idea how what is ahead of you. Okay, maybe okay. that's his, that's your call. Apparently, Matt does, or Loveridge feels like he shouldn't be whispering. You could okay. have a completely different opinion. I only have an outdoor voice. <laughs> <laughs> We're stinking. <laughs> <laughs> is the air dry out here? Yeah, or is exactly it just me? It's exactly like that. Okay, great. Um, because I'm I'm just I'm picturing you like licking your fingers and going like this, and I'm like, is that like a tango? Or are you yeah. like asking yeah, yeah, for yeah. a waiter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, get that money. I want the check. Can, can, I get, the can check? I get the check? <laughs> um, so you're asking me if the air is dry? Yeah, I don't. Think so? Not. N- I mean, not. Th- does know. it? Does is the it, air feel is drier? It, is it dark? Mm, is it? No. Is there enough light outside that if someone were to write something down, someone might be able to see it? Maybe if they hold it like six inches from their face at an angle and get it right up in there. We're just right in the snow. Yeah, I got to pee. <laughs> <laughs> so you, wanna, you go back to the because there's not a lot of snow here. But oh, the, but the oh, the stream does freeze over at night because the sun goes down keep, keep and it, it gets that cold. Um, no, I just I'll keep I'll like move on. We'll okay, keep moving. All right, just we'll, we'll let's yeah we're we're taking note of this. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you guys trek on quietly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For a while, 
and you get to a um, a, a fence. Um, there is a. It's not the it's not the uh, the hex or the diamond pattern that we have. It's it's a little bit wider, so like one foot square barbed wire. Um, oh jeez. Okay. Yeah. Um, not super. Not ra- razor wire rings at the top. Okay. But and then barbed wire throughout, so like you don't you know climbing it even would be dangerous in the dark. But it's set up in three uh, segments. Oh. So they've they've fenced three times. The third one is um, planks of wood. So they've made a solid palisade. You can't see beyond that third fence. Between the wooden fence and the, the middle section is a path wide enough for troops to patrol. And then the third fence that you guys are outside of, like a body, a person could walk sideways through there. Okay. So it's just far enough that you can't easily traverse between the two segments to get into the walking path. It would okay. be very difficult to, if you manage to climb up and stand on top of the first fence, jumping to the to the oh, yeah, sure. inner path would be very would be difficult uh, task. Do we have blankets or something that we could throw over the top do of this? How, how tall of the fence? Do how we tall have high uh, Seven, eight feet with the barbed wire, with the razor wire on top. Okay, so... So above your heads. But wire cutters would be something we could get Wire cutters here. you could totally get into, could do get you into the inner, inner segment. Do we have wire cutters? I don't know that we'd have them with us, but we, I would assume we'd have them with a group. You'd probably have them back at the camp, but you guys, I, ima- I imagine, were traveling relatively light. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but back... With the yeah, other, I mean, we only had guys. six grenades and 150 rounds <laughs> of yeah. ammunition each. Well, you took all the all the bullets with you. Yeah. You just didn't take all the tools. I didn't take so. and the camping gear and the yeah. yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, how do we see anybody out? Not at this. Can exact we see a building above the fence? You can see the tower, the radio tower. Just a radio yeah. tower, and no other buildings around it. Not not even like from the roofs or a shack. I'm sure there's there the there's no guard shacks in the vicinity of what okay. you can see, but a radio shack. If not, <laughs> and and okay, well, hold on a second. Yeah, the store got its name right. from the shack no, that's at the that base you of would the tower. No, it's put it, that, at the base yeah. of the tower. That's yeah. completely fair. I just we laughed because now there's <laughs> like because <laughs> it's impossible not to because <laughs> now there's a guy out there trying to sell us a sprint phone, <laughs> right? <laughs> and and you know and it's populated by a 17 year old girl who's like I don't know. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Do you have this? I, uh, maybe. I don't know. And it's literally on the counter in front of her. Yeah. I'm sorry. That could be a 17-year-old boy also to all of our listeners. I'm apparently the offensive one. Go on. So because <laughs> because of the height of the fence, you can see a, few, you can see a roof line to some kind of structure. Sure. The base of the tower is hidden from your view. Okay, yeah. The radio, there would be a shack there for the um, controls and whatnot. Sure. But, you know, like, logic says it's there, but you can't see it from where you're at. Okay. So is the fence straight, or is it rounded? Meaning that if I look to the left, it goes straight. Yeah, it, it's... And to the right, it goes it straight? It curves around something. So round, yeah. okay. Okay. Um, shall we check the perimeter? Yeah. Uh, shall we split up? No. <laughs> Bad things happen when we split um, up. I'm gonna. Okay. Can I tap the the fence lightly with my gun, my metal gun? You checking to see if it's electrified? Yeah. It is not electrified. This one isn't. This one is not electrified. But we got two more fences that could be. Even the wood could have electrified fence behind it. Could or yes. or wire running yeah. across the top. I of mean, it, yeah. I'll just point out that putting a, the electrified fence where the people would be walking probably mili- probably you know from a. I'm I know. Safety I'm standpoint. I'm just saying, Germans have a high level of like. Well, I guess he shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay. Germans I, give zero f's. If in my mind, if they were going to electrify a fence, they would electrify the first one, that's which you test is not electrified. Sure, that's fair. And, and clearly, you know, no color. I, I don't think we're even allowed to use the letter f on this podcast. Yeah. Farts. <laughs> no, that's just arts. Art. <laughs> arts. <laughs> so that is yeah. So you guys Mr. want to S- patrol? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go left. Okay. Oh wait, no. Uh, according to the map, like which way would the road be? 
the nearest road would be to your right at this point in time. Let's go to the right. Let's go to the right. Uh, okay. And then I'll, I'll whisper very lightly. If we hit a road, we stop and come back. Okay. <laughs> um, the, the ground we're walking on, is it s- pretty solid, like packed dirt, or is it like loose dirt that we're going to clearly leave a trail in? Um, there are leaves and debris from, you know, fall trees. Yeah. yeah. From the seasons passing. Um, you guys would need to make an effort to not leave a trail. Okay. Okay. Now, would anyone look out this direction for a trail as they're walking patrol around the building, around the, around the complex? Right. Probably not. Who knows? It's yeah. yeah, But if you, but. I'm saying, yes, you are going to leave a trail if you're not careful, if you don't make an effort to hide it. But, again, you know, will it be noticeable from inside the fence? Who knows? Right. Okay. We're going to walk lightly. Yeah. Carry a big stick. That, that too. Well, we do have a couple of big sticks with us. Yeah. Tom- made by Thompson. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. So, you guys. Uh, what, wait a minute. What did you think I meant? Weirdo. <laughs> So you head to the right, you go a ways. Um, it's not long, like 10, 15 minutes. I'm sorry, one more question. Okay. Between the tree line, because I'm, I'm imagining there's a tree line that we've been walking through a forested area. Sure. Between the tree line and the fence, how, how much of a distance are we looking at? Not much. They did not clear much beyond this fence. Okay. So like the, the tree branches could reach the fence at some points? That's how close they are? Some or? of some okay. of yeah, some of the tree branches do. Okay. Um okay. some of some of the trees, like they'll they would have they f- you can tell that they fell bigger trees. Um but even like some of the um you know the stumps are visible mm-hmm. in between the first and second fence. Okay. Okay. The third the third fence is or the third the the mar- the walking trail is, is cleared, cleared out. Okay. So, and um, m- most of these places, we could use the trees for cover if we needed to. Yes. Quickly hide. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. the trees, c- the trees would be anywhere from two to three feet. Could be anywhere between up or as, as close as two feet to the first fence. Okay. They didn't bother to clear them out further. Okay. So, okay. Odds are because that would make it even more obvious that there was a you know a right, place right. thing here. So, so about a meter away. Yes. Sorry, I'm working on. I'm we're converting. Okay. Converting. Um, yeah. A meter is about the width of a of a front doorway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Well, well, I want to stay in the tree line. I don't want to be walking right next to the fence. Sure. So that would definitely add to your cover on yeah. on leaving a trail behind. If yeah. that's what you're. Well, yeah. it it also means that like that guy way down there can't just see us because we're just next to the fence. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, yeah, so b- with all that in mind, about 10, 15 minutes of walking, slow walking, because you're, you're going step by step, uh, trying not to snap twigs and whatnot, and right. trip over roots. You come to, again, you're mostly going uphill, kind, okay. of, kind of around the hill, a- as it were, but up a little bit, and you, you come to a stop, uh, or you come, you come to a point where you can see what you imagine to be a break in the fence mm-hmm. where there is a guard shack and a guard tower. Okay. Um, so like a, a shack r- manning the, the front gate and then a tower behind the, the taller fence wall. And there are definitely people um, up there. You can make out sort of the, the silhouette of a searchlight and probably a gun okay. of some kind that if you move, you know, that it, Right now, you're in sort of the danger. Um, the Metal Gear Solid reference would be your your question mark turned into an exclamation point, but sure. you don't necessarily have anybody looking for you. Are there are there machine gun embankments at the entrance? Um, from where you are, you can't tell. You can see the shack and like the rise of the hill, but it would make sense to you. Okay. Um, can we use the binoculars to see what kind of uniforms they're wearing? If they're standard Wehrmacht or if they're SS? Sure. Um, the guys in the tower right now that you can see are definitely, uh, standard German military. Okay. All right. Um, 
I'll like look over at Jack. Do you want to go back, or do you want to keep going? Let's keep going. Okay. So I want to take, take a, all the information we can. A slightly this. wider turn, like get a little bit more of the forest between us and them, so that we're not. I just I would rather be cautious and miss something that we're going to see than be closer and get caught. Sure. Yeah. So you head deeper into the, away from the complex. A little bit, yeah. And but then head towards the front, the front in right. air quotes, where this gate would be. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, you guys do that, um, and it, you come up. I'll make another crude drawing because. So, like I said, you got the tower, and then um, fence, fence. It's wide enough. There's a road wide enough to fit two, you know, two trucks okay. going side by side. Um, and then, yeah, there are um, machine gun embankments. Machine gun embankments that sort of flank. Do they have gates at the the the, the fences? It or appears that they do have like um, full gates, or do they have like um, they they have cross uh, the crossbars at okay. the front that um, are made of metal and that have um, cement anchors. Okay. So the guy, the men, have to come out and lift it and oh, move okay. it. Okay. Um, and then there are um, gates on the inner two rings. Okay. Uh, fences, uh, fencing, if that makes any sense. Okay. And those are fence gates? Yeah, okay. those are well, those are big. And then the one I in the back, I assume, is wooden. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, the so guardrails on the front, met wire fencing on the middle, okay. wooden gates on the on the inner ring. Okay. Are there men manning the machine gun nests? Not at the moment, but there's a guard shack with at least two men um, milling about. Okay. So if anybody were to... Um, come up, they would have at least one team on one of the guns Assuming right away. Assuming they don't get shot right Assuming away. Assuming they don't yeah, get yeah, shot no, right I away. Get it. Yeah. Right. Plus, <coughs> two guys in the tower that yeah. would be able to raise the alarm. So right. you'd have four guys to take out if you wanted to assault the gate right this second. I, I don't want to assault I right this figured, second. Yeah. I was more of getting an idea if there's like two, yeah. uh, two two man teams sitting at the machine right. guns already. And I only brought my Thompson. I didn't bring my sniper rifle. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna like back away from our like hiding spot and deeper into the woods and motion for Jack or tap Jack and have him come back with me. Taking okay. orders from him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know. no, we're 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 working, working as a together. team here. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. I don't have any ego here. I don't want to die. Okay. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. I think I think we know what we need to know. Yeah, mostly that we need to know more, but this right. gives us a la enough of a layout that we know. Yeah, but we're but we're seeing four people right at the moment, right? We're seeing four people: two in the tower, two in the, two tower, in the shack, two in the shack. Have we seen any patrols on that path? <coughs> uh, there's a patrol coming now. How many from, people? Uh, two guys. Okay, and they're walking between the wooden first and, the and yeah, they're okay. between the wooden and the wire. Fence. So, so okay, so we're calling the outer ring the third ring, second first. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I say I think we should go back to where we first came to the fence. Okay. And sit for an hour or two and see what kind of patrols we look at. I'm I'm all in favor. Well, wh why why there? Why not here where we might see the most traffic? I mean, are are we well? Because hidden? then once I'm there, once we're there, it's a straight shot back to the camp. If we're gonna have to go back, I'd rather do it from there than from here. Yeah, but I mean, if we'll have to work our way back over there anyway. I think we stay right here okay. and wa and watch. I mean, if there are guard changes, if they increase guards, if they okay, and and we're we're in a better spot to see how frequently they change change out guards. That's fair. All right. Yeah. So it's been two or three hours since sunset. Mm -hmm. So you're. Since it's a little earlier, so it's like eight nine o'clock. It's not the middle of the night, right? When you guys decide you want to can't you want to hunker down and do this? Okay. How long do you stay? Two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Okay. So sometime between ten and eleven, you're gonna head back. Yeah. yeah. Actually, how about this? Let's let let's stay until they change the guard. That's a fair point. Yeah. 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 
Okay. Yeah, no, no. Let's 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 check and see when they can change the guard, but we'll leave early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they were going to change him in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's coming. All right. So while you're there, you do see a patrol walk by every um, half hour. Are they going clockwise or counterclockwise? They're going Left. clockwise from the gate. So they would. So you guys. So they. You guys came up on the gate. Sometime after they passed your point, right. or came up on the fence. Right. Sometime after they passed your the point where you were, and you were ke- catching them coming up to the gate. Okay. And that's the same guys. Uh, Can we catch faces at all? I'm gonna say no. They've probably got scarves up covering okay. their faces. Uh, what um, about what about uh, rank insignias? All um, one of the guys at the in the shack. It would be. Oh, I meant just on. The, does it look like the same rank insignias on the, the patrol? I'm the, trying to. to, to it, it, I, I can't get their faces, but right. if I can see that they have the same rank insignias, then it probably is the same group. And there's only one patrol. Right in the time that you've been there. Sure. Uh, it has been the same people. Okay. Uh, okay. And and I'm sorry. How large is the patrol again? Two. Two. Okay. So there's there are effectively six people on guard at the gate at this time of night. Okay. Um, and you guys, so you guys see them go by about every half hour. You know, German efficiency probably on the half hour. And so we can figure given their speed, a general idea of how big around the, the yeah. complex is. Yeah. They're not, okay. you know, I don't know what the right word on frog march, but you know what I mean. Yeah. They're, yeah, yeah. they're not hoofing it, but they aren't taking a leisurely yeah. stroll either. Okay. So it seems like a pretty good size yeah. complex. Well, we can at least give an idea to yeah. the commander what, what size the complex okay. is. Sure. Uh, you know that the they're set up to have two, two trucks go in and out side by side except for where the embankments are that goes down to like one. Okay. So traffic in and out can flow pretty easily. Um, and then uh, at 11, uh, they have, uh, or the, the gates open, and you see uh, the troops walking patrol arrive. The troops at the shack arrive, or are there, um, and they get switched out, and then a few minutes later, um, two men come up into the tower. There's some type of conversation. It's quiet. You can't hear it from the distance that you're at. Yeah. Um, and the two men come down from the tower. You assume you've just seen a guard change at 11. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look over at Jack. Do you want to go? Um I think we should see one more changing of the guard so we know how long their shifts are. Because we, d- we don't want to approach in the middle of a guard change where we've got twice as many people to deal with. Uh, th- my only concern is that could be, you know, 0600, 0700. We could, we could be waiting here all night. I don't know if the commander expected us to be gone that long. your call i mean yeah military doctrine would say they're on duty for several hours at this point in time and besides i don't we're not coming into this gate we're going to watch for somebody to pass give them 15 minutes and go through the the fence somewhere else okay i mean that's that would be my assumption okay all right we'll head back all right um so before we head back though Uh um and mow down Jack and a hail of gunfire. No, uh, <laughs> this actually is a great place for us to take a break this week. Uh, don't forget we have other podcasts. Uh, they're all great and fun. And we will talk to you guys next week. And that will do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us over on Facebook and Twitter at facebook.com slash nerdsdomain and twitter.com slash nerdsdomain. You can also check out our site at nerdsdom.com. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter while you're there. 
you can head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. We want to thank Passion Nerdly for our music. Don't forget, you can support us at patreon.com slash nerdsdomain and check out our shirts at TeePublic.